Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Shabba Hashem, for calling Basha. Shalom to the uh, elders, Christian Birch, who finds the zero, and Shalom to the uh, Akron, scattered the four corners of the globe, Christian Birch, who finds the zero as well, too. Uh, Shalom to the Akwa sisters, and Shalom to the Akim uh, elders as well, too. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, this is a uh, walk and talk lesson. I'm um, kind of outside today. After I had got through teaching, I'll say about like an hour, hour or two ago. So this is a uh, walk and talk lesson that I want to bring out. This is uh, the title of the walk and talk lesson is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 through verse 18. And this is the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, uh, But ye therefore followers of the uh, followers of Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh. It says, uh, and, dear, uh, and dear children. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. It says, and we walk in love as the Mashiach also has love. I don't care as long as God gets all the glory. That's what we're all put on this earth for, is to know and grow with Jesus Christ. And so it says, an offering to Yahweh for the sweet smelling of Satan. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, Of a fornication and all uncleanness of or covetousness, it is let it not be uh, once named among you as become saints. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 4. It says, Nevertheless, filthiness nor foolishness, talking or nuts, jetting, which are uh, covenant, but rather giving the uh, giving of thanks. This is Ephesians chapter five and verse uh, five. It says, "For it says, for this ye know that none poor mugger nor unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolatry and has any inheritance in the kingdom of Hamashiach of Yahweh." And it says, uh, Ephesians chapter five and verse six. It says, "Let no man deceive you with fame words, for because of these things." It says. Cometh of the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 7, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, uh, Be not ye therefore partakers with them. It says, uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 5 and verse 8, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, For we sometimes, it says, For ye were sometimes in darkness, but now ye are the light. And, and the Lord, which is Hamashiach, which is our Lord, my Savior. It says, Well, that's the truth. And it says, uh, This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, and righteousness, and truth. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 10. It says, uh, Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, right, following the ways of Yahweh uh, Hashem and seeking the ways of uh, righteousness, especially uh, John 8 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Having no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 12, it says, Well, it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done them in secret. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5. In verse 13, it says, But done all those things that are for proof are made of manifest by the light. But whosoever that uh, doubt mean manifest is light. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 14. It says, uh, Wherefore he saith, Thou sleepest and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach, and shall, and shall give thee light. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It says, uh, sing ye that you walk circumspect, not as fools, but as wise. Right, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16. It says, uh, redeem the times because the days are evil. Right, just like in Revelation 1 and 3. It says, blessed he that readeth, you know. Blessed he that readeth, you know, seeking of that wisdom and knowledge and understanding as us being as much. So we got to work circumspect, watch out surroundings, and 
and have a uh, sober mind. It's like it says in First Peter five eight, be sober, vigilant, because your adversary, the deceiver, is a warring lion, walking about seeking where may devour. You know, so wisdom and knowledge and understanding should be the stability of our times. You know, having that sound mind. This is the book of uh, Ephesians chapter five and verse sixteen. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 16, and it reads, go to all the scriptures, it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17, it says, wherefore ye be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. It says, be not drunken with wine, where is ex excess, uh, but be filled with the spirit. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 19. And this is the last scripture, and I'm going to close out the walk and talk lesson. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse uh, 19. It says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing, making melody your heart to the Lord. And give thanks for all things unto Yahweh and the Father in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And it says, submit yourselves one to another in the fear of your house. So with that, that was really uh, Ephesians 5 18 now that I was supposed to stop it. But other than that, uh, hopefully this uh, walk and talk lesson was uh, out of fine of uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. I mean, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 through verse 18. And that was the title of the walk and talk lesson. So hopefully you are out of fine. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Karkadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, truth, and sincere, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four points of the globe, preaching the word, truth, and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I'll say Shalom.